seems like the closer we get to Election Day, the more lies Kamala tells in her speeches and interviews. So the folks over at The Federalist decided to do what the media should be doing. Uh, they took notice. And in this headline, they mentioned, quote, seven lies Kamala Harris packed into 22 minutes at the Harrisburg rally. I'm trying to do the math, but that's uh, not a good ratio. Joining us now to talk about this trend and some of those lies is CPAC chairman Matt Schlapp uh, back with us on the show. Matt, always good to see you. So, look, I mean, Harris continues to say Trump wants to implement Project 2025, uh, talks about uh, that he wants to ban abortion nationwide. He says the exact opposite. I mean, this is literal. I mean, it's not even spin. It's literal lying right in front of our eyes. So what is it? Desperation? Is this just who Kamala Harris is? What's your take on what she's doing here? Yeah, um... I also think she like lost her place uh, in a rally yesterday because I think there are these to mm. hold on. This is a very radical thing. There are some Christians mm. that keep infiltrating her rally. I know that's like a very dangerous thing. <laughs> and they say things like Jesus is Lord. And uh, and I think they're I think that when they when they start shouting at her rallies, it really it rattles her. And she got very rattled yes. the other day. I called it her. Millie Vanilli moment for those of you who are old enough to remember <laughs> yes! when the, when the, when that yes! duo was singing and they used to dub their music they weren't real singers and the record skipped or whatever it was and uh, and they had they couldn't sing anymore because they weren't really singing they couldn't fake sing anymore and Kamala Harris mm. she got off the teleprompter and then she didn't know where she was in the teleprompter and then she doesn't when she doesn't have a teleprompter she absolutely doesn't know what to say she just no. starts saying things like we got to move forward. Um, she's not a bright woman. It's kind of interesting because they uh, they say to people like my daughters who are in college and my wife and my mother-in-law and my mom that they're not, you know, Mark Cuban said they're not uh, smart or strong. And uh, I, I'd like to make a challenge. I'd like to take my daughter's SAT scores and publicly put them against Kamala Harris, who failed the bar exam, and Tim Waltz and Joe Biden. I have a feeling that my two college-age daughters are going to swamp them uh, in this IQ test. Yeah, yeah, I, I think President Trump should uh, challenge, challenge her to an IQ test because I can't even imagine, I know President <laughs> Trump's IQ is quite high, and yes, I can't sir. imagine, I, I, if there is, if she registers on the <laughs> IQ test, I don't know. I agree. <laughs>